Hello all, we'll continue after the creation of assembly in our tutorial series of uh, recreating the general article uh, model uh, of uh, this uh, ballasted railway track but uh, here uh, we will not go ahead with the rail and sleeper I'm just trying to uh, go with this uh, finalized approach of having ballast, sub ballast and subgrade I'm going to go for uh, materials so that you can see these are the materials now after assembly we will directly move on to our uh, uh, other sections which are step uh, and interaction and load so what I am going to do here is that I am going to create uh, one another macro so that whatever we will do will keep getting recorded and after assembly we can just go to step module we can create a dynamic explicit step so for now uh, in this procedure because we are using plasticity I generally approach with dynamic explicit step unless we have higher cohesion value so dynamic explicit step and everything else is the default now move on and uh, uh, you can also change your field and stray output but for right now we can just leave them as it is we'll go for interaction and uh, we can create a rough uh, interaction property because uh, we don't want to define any interfacial specific interaction just for the sake of running this model uh, we can uh, have our rough interaction model and we'll click on uh, continue and we'll go with the tangential behavior as uh, rough and uh, normal behavior as hard contact and allow separation after contact we can also uh, click on uh, uh, uncheck this box of allow separation after contact to like stick them together even in normal condition but we'll go with that and now we'll create a general contact in initial step uh, we'll go with all with self and interac international, uh, interaction property 1 which is the rough case now interaction has been done uh, you can also tie these layers together that uh, is a, a possible thing but for now I am going with the rough interaction condition if it doesn't work when uh, if it doesn't work we can anyway come back and tie this condition tie this uh, layers now we'll go to load module and uh, uh, what we will do is that uh, we will not uh, have any uh, roller boundary condition on the sides what we'll do is that we'll create a fixed boundary condition so just to do that we'll go to a subgrade part and we'll create a set so this set will be bottom and we'll click on continue and we'll just rotate this so that to select the bottom part and click on done now we can go to uh, in load module and we can create a boundary condition which is a fixed boundary condition so symmetry anti-symmetry and caster and click on continue and the set which we have just created will be visible in the assembly as bg bottom we can highlight it and we can see that is the that this is the bottom and we have to apply and cast a boundary condition so this is the boundary condition which we are going to apply and now apply the load so for now we'll just go for the gravitational loading nothing much uh, important or just for the sake of a trial run we'll go with gravity loading and the gravity loading will be in y direction so negative y direction you can see here you can see the cursor and minus 9.81 because all the units are meter per second so the gravitational force will be again in 9.81 meter per second and instantaneously so this is our gravitational load after loading and boundary condition the only remaining things uh, which we need to define is mesh we'll go to mesh directly we'll uh, define the mesh by part and uh, this is pretty basic uh, we'll have a default mesh size and click on yes and for the ballast part also we'll have a defined mesh size uh, and nothing much not very fancy uh, or anything but we'll just go with the default so that our model is running or not we have to just check uh, whatever we have done is correct or not so after meshing you can just uh, go to job and yeah uh, that's all we can create a test job on model one and we, click, uh, we can click on ok uh, we'll go with default settings and uh, we'll just uh, submit it for data check so you can see now that the data check has been completed so we can now stop recording and we can go to our uh, abacus uh, subroutine now we can open it uh, from here 
so yeah this job files are created data check has been completed basically means that whatever we have done as no errors in it we'll copy the sub uh, routine no, sub, not subroutine sorry <laughs> my mistake the macro we'll just copy this and we'll paste it under here so yeah uh, this is a big uh, bigger macro because we i guess now are used to this stuff so session objects will directly remove them uh, this type of session objects are not necessary and yeah we can first of all remove all the session objects like this so that it looks much more clearer Uh, now we'll go down later but first here uh, we'll see that the explicit contact property creation will keep these lines together in interaction property of tangential behavior formula rough and pressure over closure hard and uh, allow separation on and yeah we'll merge this line which are going under to the single line so this is the uh, interaction condition which we have done now uh, 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 this is the interaction condition which we have created now the final general contact condition we'll look into it. Uh, it we started from the initial stage and we have applied you can also change the names of uh, the uh, boundary condition from int1 to maybe rough so you have to change it here as well in prop or somewhere so but that's what I am saying that uh, this is what you can do so this is a redundant line we will not require p1 so yeah p dot faces uh, we can just remove this cut it cut it and paste it here so this is the faces and we can also do this we can just cut this complete line and put it here because that's what it is doing so uh, whatever we are doing is uh, creating a bottom uh, set of uh, the bottom where we are uh, uh, in the part subgrade which is uh, which will be used as a fixed uh, for the fixed boundary condition so that's what we are creating in these two lines so we are calling the part a subgrade part and we are uh, selecting the bottom surface and which name suggests the bottom uh, we'll create this surface as a set so that it can be used uh, as a fixed boundary condition so regeneration doesn't require session object it doesn't require again uh, redundancy uh, region a or instance set bottom yeah so this uh, uh, thing calls for the fixed boundary condition here this is again a session object uh, we don't require it yeah and so like this uh, we have the loading condition here gravity loading you can see and this is again session object so maybe just remove those and with the parts again a lot of session objects uh, yeah and this uh, redundancy uh, we are repeating the p dot uh, models svg part so yeah this is seeding so we are creating a general mesh so you can see see this is generate a mesh generation and yeah you can just uh, 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 call it uh, uh, like this but uh, what i am going to do is that remove the session objects uh, from everywhere else so yeah this is again session objects so we can just remove them and yeah this line is a pre is pretty big so i'm not going to do anything with this line uh, job creation because there are a lot of things which you can do wait hours queue and memory there is no specific default you have to specify all of these lines so i'm not doing anything with these lines you can just keep them as it is or you can just uh, uh, like remove these lines just to create your file so I am going to comment this because you have you need to just create your uh, line, uh, your file, and you can later on specify what type of job you want to run. So till the input file, uh, you can do anything. So regeneration of uh, a1 root assembly. Yeah, I guess these lines are not required now. This is the mesh generation mesh generation files um, uh, of uh, subgrade part. And yeah, uh, we can also remove this line. And this is the general uh, file here you can see. So three lines are required for mesh generation. Yeah, like this and uh, 
yeah so like this three lines are required you can also use the code uh, to create uh, this three lines but i am going to save this now and as we have seen that this check is completed uh, we'll just recheck what we have created in our python from the uh, uh, clean slate that it's uh, correctly working till this point or not what we have done in the form of edits is uh, fine or not so yeah we can see that everything is uh, created uh, the job is not created because we have commented out those lines but uh, again uh, the meshing should be there yeah meshing is there and load uh, should be there yeah load is there boundary condition is there and the check has been completed so i am going to finish this tutorial here you can create your model and you can extend the model uh, i will uh, uh, try to teach you the uh, creation of sleepers on the top of ballast and application of rail application of rail is pretty easy the creation of sleepers and the uh, boundary conditions which we require to uh, which are a bit complex which i did in my paper i will explain in further tutorials so here uh, i think this series uh, should dis be dissolved and uh, i think there is not much but you can improve on what i have whatever i have done in python and you can also recreate your own version so as to create uh, partitions in geometry which you can do so thank you i'll finish this tutorial here